Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I charge one of these uh, battery packs without a balanced charger using, uh, how I charge this using a simple charger uh, which is this, a Denim, I'm not sure if you can see it right, a Denim battery charger it says for 3S LiPo batteries. Uh, this has no balance uh, plugs. This is just a simple charger. Okay. So let's uh, see how. The, oh, oh, and by the way, I use. Um, try and show you here. What I use along with this battery charger is that. This is uh, a car battery charger, which I use with these two cables. I use that to feed the the charger itself and then to to charge the battery. This is a, an Iceland 80. This is a, the battery charger that I use to, to charge my, my car's batteries when they go down. It's a regular battery charger. You can see it here for vans and all that kind of stuff. Some people to power these RC chargers, they use uh, they use uh, uh, laptop battery chargers. It also works, but I'm using that one instead. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do. First of all, these are the two wires which come from the car's battery charger, and I have this thing here which I built. This is only a piece of wire you have here. Two, uh, two poles, uh, a minus and a plus. Basically what I do is just, I plug these, the red one on plus, and uh, the black one, which is the negative, on the minus. So, coming out of the car's, of the car's battery charger, I plug these ones here, and then I have this wire, which takes me to this lead which I plug in here just to feed the battery charger as you can see now it has it has power and as I told you this is a simple battery charger this is not a balanced charger now all I have to do is to connect this this plug the GST to my battery in order to charge it but as you can see XT60 connectors and uh, uh, JST are not very compatible so what I'll do is I have this here this wire with uh, this plug which I can connect on my GST on the charger as you can see black on black, red on red and then I have these two on this side uh, basically what I can do with these two I have two choices I can use this XT60 connector with these two pieces of wire already soldered and just plug this in here and then just do it like this black on black and I'm gonna hold it with this small plastic clamp and just put it here hold it in place and then do the same thing on the red one and once again using a, a plastic clamp this time a red one I'm gonna keep this here keep this here and as long as the poles don't touch each other as you can see, it is charging. I can disconnect this and 
when I connect that you can see it's checking for uh, for the battery it blinks green and yellow and then it says on yellow it says charging okay this is not the balanced charger so this is not the most evacuated but I'm waiting for an IMAX B6 that I've ordered on Obi King two months ago it hasn't arrived yet so for now I have to deal with this so let's just check the cells and see how they are this is a battery checker alarm buzzer so all there's um, all the cells they have all 10.8 number one is 360 number two 360 and number three 359 so they're not very unbalanced so I think there's no problem in charging it a little bit with this charger even though it's not a balanced charger because the cells are not that far away from each other in terms of balance but one more thing as you can see using this JST60 this connection here is a bit tricky they are quite close and anytime they can touch each other in shortcut so I'll use a different, met uh, a different method that I'll show you right now okay so let's just unplug this unplug this and I won't be using this off of the XT60 just because these are too close uh, and I don't like it so I have a different way of doing it I have here two metal clips those clips that you usually buy for electrical connections you can get them anywhere which I'll show you right now and for this job they work a lot better than the second half of the XT60 just because that XT60 I have it here because this is supposed to be connected to an ESC to in order to make the wire a bit longer so just, that's why I put this here because if this was to be used in a charger all the time of course I would simply solder this onto this and then I wouldn't have any problems of short cutting and this would work uh, beautiful but in this case I'm not gonna use this for the charger I don't wanna be soldering it here and then having to remove it so I'll use a different method and put this away this goes away in this case what I'll use are these these two small clips I'm not sure if you can see them I'll try and show them so these two metal clips and basically what I'll do with this with these is so I'm gonna I'll grab the battery pack and on the positive side which is the square side I'm gonna introduce one of these and then on the negative side as you see I'm gonna introduce the other one on the negative side and now all I have to do is with this piece of wire so I'm gonna put and now this fits fine I'm gonna put the red on the positive and keep it clamped with a red clamp okay and then I'm gonna put the black one on the negative side and with a black clamp I'll keep it in place here you go they're both in place now now all I have to do is to connect this side of the wire to my JST and as you can see it's charging can unplug it and unplug it back again it will blink and now it's gonna be charging once the battery is fully charged it will uh, turn on the green light and say full and as you can see right now in this case these wires as long as I keep them like this on the table and not mess with them around which is something I'm not gonna do while this is charging they are pretty much away from each other and there's no problem of shortcutting 
of short circuiting, you know? Uh, with the, the XT60 connector, most probably I will have a short circuit, but in this case, as these parts are metal and they are tightly clamped one on the other, so this is charging the battery and there is no problem of short circuit. Just leave it here and as you can see the charger here, the lights on the charger. I'm not sure if you can see the lights very well but see it has a red one and a yellow one which says charging. I'm just gonna leave it like this and it will charge my battery and of course this would be better to be charged uh, with a balanced charger using this balance plug but as I told you before this balance this battery is not that badly unbalanced so I can take the risk of charging it once or two uh, even with a simple charger like this because as you can see, if we check the cells, all cells, 10.8, number 1, 3.62, number 2, 3.65, number 3, 3.60. Well, it's not that bad. Let's let it charge like this for a while. And uh, that's pretty much it. This connection here is the same thing. I use this just to avoid this one touching that one because that would provoke a short circuit and burn the fuse in my car's uh, battery charger. Oh, and by the way, I have that car battery charger set to 5.4 amps, 12 volts, because I could set it to a bit less, to 2.2 amps, 6 volts. But I'd rather use the faster. Uh, way of charging 5.5 no sorry 5.4 amps 12 volts okay let's um, let it charge okay that's it for now see ya